How's it going folks? Jeff Benjamin here, your Cal Digit brand ambassador. And in this video, we're going to talk about 10 tips to get more out of your Cal Digit doc. You don't want to miss this. Check it out. What if you're running out of USB-C ports on your Cal Digit doc? Well, not to worry. In this first tip, we're going to show you how to convert your USB-A ports to USB-C. If you're running out of USB-C ports on your CalDigit dock, but you still have spare USB-A ports, you can connect a low-profile USB-A to USB-C adapter to convert those unused ports to USB-C. This is great for connecting peripherals like mice, keyboards, and other low bandwidth accessories as these adapters tend to offer USB 2.0 performance. If you'd like to connect devices like external SSDs that require higher bandwidth, you'll want to opt for a 10 gigabit per second USB-A to USB-C adapter instead. In this next tip, I'm going to show you how you can save a spare Thunderbolt port when connecting to a dual HDMI monitor setup. You can easily connect an HDMI monitor to your CalDigit dock with a USB-C to HDMI adapter connected to one of the dock's Thunderbolt ports. But what if you have a dual HDMI monitor setup? You could use two separate USB-C to HDMI adapters, but did you know that you can actually save a Thunderbolt port? Simply connect a dual HDMI adapter to just one Thunderbolt port and free up that extra port. You can also use a USB-C dual video adapter, but if you want to support dual 4K 60Hz displays, then CalDigit's Thunderbolt 3 mini dock is a great solution. Tip number three, Organize your cables. Docks are great for connecting many devices to a single computer, but you'll notice that the cables can quickly get out of hand if you're not careful. To fix this, use low-cost cable management sleeves to easily keep your cables organized and tidy. I also like these reusable cable ties to help wrangle my cables as well. For our fourth tip, let's talk about adding more storage the low-key way. If you need additional storage space, then you can put the unused USB ports on your CalDigit dock to good use. Simply add a low-profile USB-A drive like this one, which features 512 gigabytes of storage, and you have a low-profile, low-key way to add extra storage in a flash. Our fifth tip, more power for your accessories. The CalDigit TS4 features a 20-watt USB-C port for fast charging accessories, and that's super handy for connecting devices that support up to 20 watts of charging. Meanwhile, the standard USB ports on the dock support up to 7.5 watts of power, which is still quite respectable. But did you know that the spare Thunderbolt ports on your CalDigit dock will provide up to 15 watts of power? So even if you've already used the dedicated 20-watt port, you can still connect devices that benefit from faster charging to the other Thunderbolt ports on your CalDigit dock. If you're using the TS3 Plus, you can charge Thunderbolt devices. And if you're using the TS4 or Element Hub, you can charge both Thunderbolt and non-Thunderbolt USB-C devices through those Thunderbolt ports. In addition to that, if for some reason you're not using the host Thunderbolt port on your dock, you know, the one that actually connects to your Mac, you can use that to charge any additional devices up to the maximum power provided by the specific CalDigit dock. For the Element Hub, that nets you a healthy 60 watts of power. In the case of the TS3 Plus and the TS4, that's 87 and 98 watts of charging power respectively. Tip 6. Eject all attached drives in one fell swoop. If you have a lot of external drives connected to your dock, you may find it a bit cumbersome to eject each drive one by one when taking your MacBook on the go. The solution? Download the free CalDigit Docking Station Utility for Mac, and you can save valuable time by easily disconnecting all of your USB and Thunderbolt drives with just a single click. Tip number seven, add even more USB ports. If you wish to add additional USB ports to your CalDigit dock via a USB hub, we recommend connecting the hub to one of the spare Thunderbolt ports rather than a USB port. The extra bandwidth from the Thunderbolt port will provide the best experience for your extra USB devices. Tip eight, if you're using a wireless mouse, you probably wanna hear this. If you're using a wireless mouse that connects to your Mac via a dongle, you may notice wireless interference that causes the mouse to lag. Now, this is a common issue with any dock, not just CalDigits, with mice that operate at the 2.5 gigahertz wireless frequency. But you can easily resolve this problem by creating distance between the dock and USB dongle by utilizing a simple USB extension cable. Tip number nine, Use your laptop's power supply. 
Not only do CalDigit docks allow you to connect tons of accessories to your Mac via a single cable, but they also recharge your MacBook's battery. In some cases, particularly with the 16 inch MacBook Pro, which can accept up to 140 watts of power, you may want to take advantage of the faster charging available from your Mac's power adapter instead. Now, there's no tricks involved. Simply connect your Mac's power adapter directly to one of your Mac's Thunderbolt ports or to the MagSafe connection, and the CalDigit dock will stop charging your computer and allow your max charger to take over. And our last tip is dedicated to those using macOS Ventura's awesome new continuity camera feature. One of the coolest new macOS Ventura features is called Continuity Camera. It allows you to use your iPhone as a webcam for your Mac and it results in much higher quality. But it should be no surprise that this is definitely a way to drain your iPhone's battery. But here's what you do. Keep your iPhone charged while using Continuity Camera by connecting it to your CalDigit dock. And remember, if you're using the TS4, you can connect it to the front-facing USB-C port for up to 20 watts of power. So ladies and gents, that has been a look at 10 tips to get more out of your CalDigit dock. And it really doesn't matter whether you're using the, the TS4 like I have right here, or the TS3 Plus, or the Element Hub, you're gonna find something. You're gonna find something that's gonna benefit you. Now, if you want links to any of the products featured in this video, check below in the description. And of course, you can always head over to CalDigit.com for what is, in my opinion, the best dock options for the Mac, hands down. And if you want more videos from me, you can always head over to my own YouTube channel that is Cellular FM. I'll have that link down below as well. And you can follow me on the socials at Jeff Benjamin. Again, this has been Jeff Benjamin, your CalDigit brand ambassador. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.